There's a fundamental illusion in the world that somehow people are separate from nature. What we saw with Katrina is just prologue. There isn't one living system that is stable or is improving. Our food is becoming poison. There's an ocean crisis that is occurring Worse right is now. Worse is yet to come. If human beings are the source of the problem, we can be the foundation of the solution. We face a convergence of crises. Industrial civilization has caused irreparable damage, and our impact is only accelerating. The tragedy is the potential extinction of humankind. By the middle of the century, there may be 150 million environmental refugees. Not only is it the 11th hour, it's 11.59. The problem is not a problem of global warming. The problem is not a problem of waste. The problem is the way that we are thinking. What we've lost is the beauty of the world, and we make up for it with attempting to conquer the world. So that if we choose to eradicate ourselves from this Earth, the Earth goes nowhere. The Earth has all the time in the world, and we don't. I see a world in the future in which we understand that all life is related to us and we treat that life with great humility and respect. This is all hands on deck time so that in the future people look back at this time that this was our finest hour. What a great time to be alive because this generation gets to completely change this world. Our response depends on the conscious evolution of our species, and this response could very well save this unique blue planet for future generations. <laughs>